Hey, so what's going on guys? Craig here with Director Reviews and welcome back to another video. So if you have seen my previous video on the review of my Honda Civic FC, I actually talked about how I converted my rear lights to LED. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you what bulbs I'm using and how to install and or remove the tail lamp to actually change out the bulbs. So the reason you might want to upgrade to LED is because number one is brighter, it's better in terms of raining conditions, it's much brighter and the other driver is able to see you clearly. And number two, it consumes less power than a regular halogen bulb. So these are the two main reasons why I actually upgraded my tail lamps to LED. And on top of that, I didn't want to change to aftermarket tail lights. Yes, I know it looks a lot better, they're tinted and stuff like that, but I want to keep things as original as possible. So that's the reason I decided to just upgrade the bulbs instead. And of course, they cost much lesser, but you do have to spend a good sum of money on good bulbs to make sure they are bright or brighter than normal halogen bulbs and not dimmer because if dimmer it defeats the purpose of changing to LED right and on top of that because this is a Honda Civic you do not have to worry about ever free LED bulbs because there are no warning indicators on the dash so you do not have to worry just any uh, bright LED bulbs so you have to make sure they are bright and I bought mine from uh, Love Car LED in Cheras so I will have uh, the models of the bulbs in the description below if you do want to pick them up Alright, so enough talking. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And without further ado, let's get right into the removal installation of the LED bulbs for the Civic FC. Alright guys, so before I begin the removal installation of the LED lights, let me show you the price list. So right here are the models. So you can see right here, T15 cost 50 bucks. This is for the reverse light. Uh, T20 for the signal, which costs 80 bucks. And then another T20 for the brake light, which costs 60 bucks. So you can see the specs of the LED bulb right here. So you do not buy the wrong one. So very important that you do follow this. I'll also leave this in the description below in case you miss this out. Alright, so let's get into the removal of the tail lamp. So in order to remove the tail lamp, there are two screws. One on the top and one on the bottom and then it just slides out and there are clips inside. Of course, you do have to make sure that you do not break them. So these screws are actually Philip, or you can use uh, size 8 as well. Let me get it to focus. So this is a size 8 hit and then you can use it to unscrew this box but i prefer to use a size 8 because it will not slip as compared to a philip head so let's quickly undo these two screws okay so now that you've removed the two screws it's as simple as pulling it out Alright guys, so let's start with the signal light first. So you can see right here, this green plug. All you need to do is twist it. And the bulb just comes out. So let me show you how it looks like. Alright. So, this is how the bulb looks like. These are really, really bright. I will be showing you clips of each bulb later. And how bright they are. So this is the bulb. It's pretty hefty too. And I honestly, I've been using this for the past one and a half years to two years and no issues right here so definitely do recommend this okay so you can see clips shut and you just put them in and twist it so that's it for the signal light now let's go to the bulb at the bottom which is the reverse light right here all right so you can see this bulb right here if you close and look this is for the reverse so these are also canvas bulbs if I'm not mistaken but um, don't quote me if I'm wrong but these are pretty bright as well as you could probably see already that my reverse and my signal lights are actually tinted and this has no problem shining right through it so you definitely have, do have to upgrade it so let me twist it shut you can hear a clicking sound all right so next we have the brake light so this is for the LEDs on the outside the first step light but uh, this is actually the bulb right here 
So let me just give it a twist and take it out and show you guys. So guys, this is actually the brake light. So you can see how the bulb looks like. It's a projector in front as well. So these are really, really bright. So you can see the connection is very easy. It's just a plug and play thing. So anybody can do this. Very simple and easy. So when you put them back, all you need to do is just twist it shut. And that's about it for the installation side of things. So it's really, really easy to install. And once you follow this guide, you're not gonna have any issues. All right, so let's install this tail light back and let me give you some clips on how bright these LEDs are. Alright guys, so that about wraps up my video for this week. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you have, do give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And if you have any queries or any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to get them answered as soon as possible. And with that being said, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.